What is up YouTube? I'm finally back with yet another Tesla Power Update video. Now it has definitely been quite some time since my last update, so I thought I'd give you a quick update on what I am planning on doing and possibly what I'll include in this video today. So um, without too much like uh, jabbering on and like introduction and all that, um, basically I'm planning on moving this whole setup into the shed and I'll show a picture of that now on the screen. So I'm planning on putting it on one of the walls, I'm thinking the left side wall uh, where most of the stuff already is. And I'll have to obviously drill that into the wall, get everything from here relocated up into the shed. And that will basically be my battery shed for the time being unless I come up with like a separate shed. But um, I think that will probably be its permanent resting place. So yeah, um, you can see I've got quite a bit of batteries here. I still need a process. I've got these processed and tested. These ones didn't really make the cut, they were like 1900 milliamps. And then we've got these cells here, I've still got to open up and all that. But other than that, um, I haven't really been using this setup too much. I've been using this bank here to uh, charge my electric scooter and all that, but um, nothing too like major. And yeah, um, I'm definitely getting excited to start my next pack so I can you know fill up both sides of the cells. Um, I don't know if I'll be adding another panel when it's in the shed so I can have a bit more space and spread it, spread everything out a little bit. I think that would be nice. But um, yeah, I might do a bit of a, a time elapse just showing you guys uh, taking some of this down because, um, you know, uh, it's definitely a bit to do. This, this is all wired up now, so I probably have to go behind it and unscrew a couple of things. I'm going to try and preserve as much as I can so I don't have to redo all the wiring because I, I like how this is set up right now maybe just a bit more space on one of the ends but I'm going to do that now uh, definitely stay tuned I know you guys have been waiting for these power updates it's been quite a while so yeah um, I'm just going to get this all down and uh, see how quick I can get it into the shed So just a quick update, you can see I've got three new pieces of wood. I'm going to basically get everything re-drilled. Um, this is also a little bit thicker as well. Um, so hopefully it will be better uh, withstanding, you know, the weight of the batteries and all that. But I've got my solar panels there. I'm ready to get those out later on. Um, but basically I've cleaned out the shed. And I really want to mount everything on this wall. So from here all the way across up here. So... I'm going to give you three pieces for now, and then I'm probably going to get another two later to fill in the, the remainder. You've got to obviously change where everything's mounted to suit this area a little bit better. So I want to you know, make sure that my breaker box is maybe on the other side so that my cables can come around and connect to some of the power points in here. I'm going to, we're going to try and run this whole shed uh, completely off-grid, um, like not tied to the grid at all. So um, that will be really nice. Um, there's a lot more room in here. Um, this is very messy, but this is all the conduit and all the cable that I had uh, on my other setup. So I'm going to transfer that all over, uh, get everything bolted up. That will be in the next video, but um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, like, bit of an update. Um, it's not too in-depth, but hopefully you guys know where I'm at now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please give it a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.